and welcome. This is Melissa Arm of the Stock Swash and I'm reviewing NVIDIA. NVIDIA was the option of the day. Huge trade, beautiful move, got it. And the interesting thing is we did this actually just the other week. Um, it had earnings and then we did it and then it worked and now we did it again. So, <laughs> you know, sometimes you can stay on top of something, but I will say this, that this really today, in my mind, should have been what the earnings did because the day that we did it this past week, it reversed. I called the trade in the morning, it was down, then it went the second day. That's not ideal. Then it dropped, dropped, dropped. Actually, you could still be in the one I called from that week. I mean, I don't know if anybody would have been this morning. Let me just look at what that was. This is gonna be, yeah, you could. I called the 165s here. That is insane. I'm just, I just completely remember that now. That's more than thirty dollars to the strike. I I don't know I don't know if anybody would have been in it. I, I to be honest with you, I thought this was a great exit here, but I did see what we were doing yesterday, and then this happened here. That's nuts. But anyways, we did a new trade here today. I called the one forty five puts, and it worked. So it's more than a hundred percent right here. Again, you can still be in it. It's a really the option of the day, and I think it's very interesting because let me just get over here quickly. This morning. The Qs did not want to drop out of the gate. They were hanging on in the first beginning part of the day, and NVIDIA kaboomed, and NVIDIA goes with the Qs. So NVIDIA is with the Qs. Um, but there was no stopping this, no stopping this at all. It's so fun and so great and so nice. When you take an option and it goes the second you call it. I love that. Does it happen in every trade? No. I just got done telling you it didn't happen in the first one here we did this past month. But it did happen like that today, which is great because we're going into a holiday weekend and you wanna be out of things if they're profitable going into a holiday weekend, if you can. Um, it's been just a fantastic, fantastic uh, year to trade. And I will say that I'm gonna give myself all the credit. The last two weeks, I have been just been nailing it. I mean, everything is working and everything is working big. And this was just another one. So I've got a lot of nice emails today from people saying how much money they made, that's great. Could this still drop off today into four o'clock? Yes, this is one of these things I call where you can't screw it up. What do I mean? This is so far through the strike here that if you get out of it right here, great, you make money. If you wait a little bit later to see if it drops, you're still gonna make money. There's, this is not gonna go anywhere near anything that will make this a negative trade. This is a positive trade no matter what you do. Everyone made money, but you have to be in it to win it. Gotta be in the options newsletter subscription to get these kinds of trades and calls. I will say that this price was fairly reasonable too. Sometimes it can be a little pricey. And I called it at 145 um, because I, it was originally there in the pre-market. I sent this out really early this morning, way before the open. But you know, you could have done the 140s. You could have done the 140s. They would have worked here on the 135s. In fact, what time did I send this out? 7.46. 7.46 a.m. So I knew this would work today. Again, if you're interested in learning how I make a pick like this, just particularly so early in the morning, almost two hours before the open, I rate the gap. If I rate the gap and it rates 20 points or more per the 26 point rating system, that's how I know to take it in the direction of the gap. This was a gap down, it rated per the system too short, all right? So the reality is you can't short every bearish gap, you can't go long every bullish gap, and you can't short every bullish gap, and you can't go long every bearish gap. People want to do that for gap fills, that doesn't work either. And while there are times where we go hog wild after stuff, it's not all the time. If the rating doesn't get over 20 for the criteria, I'm not doing it. I'm looking for one that does or we don't do any trades. We were lucky today. We had a bunch of nice things here going into the holiday weekend. Very excited about this. We've got the market on our side. This could get a lot more drag on in here if we start to get some serious selling in the market. We got four hours left in the day. As far as I'm concerned, that's a million years away for this thing. If there's no let up in this, and one of the reasons that, again, I like to short is selling pressure and panic happens very, very fast and quick. Thanks to everybody. Have a great Labor Day weekend. If you're interested in signing up for the options newsletter, email me. Don't miss out on the Labor Day sales. But if you want to learn the system, you got to take the class to learn it. Have a great day, everyone.